Thank you everybody uh, for attending the pre-construction community meeting for the 2022 downtown resurfacing project. City project number is 103452 in Council District 9. My name is Brendan McInnes. I'm the uh, project manager. We also have Peachtree Construction uh, will be the contractor for the project. Uh, brief introduction of staff. We have uh, Lane Zarati on the call. She is the program manager. Um, and we have um, Jeff Allen as well. I can't tell if um, Brendan Taylor is the uh, contractor for Peachtree um, as well. Uh, purpose of the meeting is to provide information about the upcoming construction of the 2022 downtown resurfacing project. The meeting will include information uh, related to the purpose of the project, the project limits, the project scope, typical construction process, project phasing and traffic control, as well as the project schedule and notification. We'll answer questions at the end of the presentation, uh, but if something pops into your head, you can always use a chat button and we'll address those um, at the end as well. And um, for, you, for those of you who um, have not done so and would like additional project information, um, you'll see this QR code a couple times in the presentation, or you can text hello to 833-233-9890. And there'll be um, text um, notifications being sent out for the duration of the project. The purpose of the project, this is a this is year three of a four year program. Uh, the city of Fort Worth for the first two years has been um, doing ADA work and utility work ahead of the paving um, that you'll be seeing starting this year and continue into next year. This project will replace ongoing select ADA ramps and sidewalk and curb repairs um, this year in advance of the resurfacing of those streets next year. And then resurfacing the streets is helping to minimize the cost and impact of future downtown street improvements by preserving the pavement condition with maintenance so major street improvements can be avoided for years. Uh, the project limits, um, we'll go into this a little bit more in depth, um, but it will be um, a majority of center down, the central downtown is in the blue area. That'll be the areas where we're doing concrete rehabilitation work. The red areas will be areas that we're going to be doing resurfacing of the roadways. Uh, project scope, um, the blue streets, that'll be select concrete work, select replacements of non-compliant ADA curb ramps, select sidewalk replacements, and select curb and gutter replacements. The red areas will be doing asphalt resurfacing, resurfacing and striping. We'll be doing remove and replace of the existing asphalt service, surface and coming back with a mill and overlay and then replace um, pavement markings um, after the overlay is completed um, in those areas. For the Northeast project area, um, this related to the pavement resurfacing, we'll be doing resurfacing on um, Belknap, Weatherford Street, first, second, third, fourth, Elm Street, Terry Street, Pecan Street, Grove Street, Jones Street, Calhoun Street, and Commerce Street. Uh, this will be um, Group 1 of the area the um, contractor is looking at um, paving, and we'll get to the schedule a little later in this presentation. Uh, the southeast area um, for resurfacing, 
This is going to be uh, group two, um, the second section of um, paving. That includes Jones Street, Calhoun, Commerce, Houston, Throckmorton, West 11th, East and West 12th Street, East and West 13th Street, East and West 14th Street, East 15th Street, and 16th Street. For the Southwest project area, uh, the pavement, uh, pavement resurfacing, this will be the um, third phase of the resurfacing and will, will include West 5th Street, West 7th Street, West 10th Street, Texas Street, West 13th Street, Florence Street, Macon Street, Cherry Street, Burnett Street, Lamar Street, Taylor Street, and Monroe Street. And for the um, concrete rehabilitation area, um, on the north side of the project, we'll be doing the select ADA ramps and pedestrian concrete repairs in the areas of West 5th Street, West 7th Street, West 10th Street, Texas Street, West 13th Street, Florence Street, Macoon Street, Cherry Street, Brunette Street, Lamar Street, Taylor Street, and Monroe Street. And on the south side of the um, rehabilitation area, uh, for ADA ramps, we'll be doing work on 5th Street, 7th Street, 10th Street, Texas Street, West 13th Street, Florence Street, Macoon Street, Cherry Street, Burnett Street, Lamar Street, Taylor Street, and Monroe Street. Uh, so a little bit about uh, Typical construction process that you'll be seeing. Um, we'll be doing um, notifications that includes um, door hangers, and we'll also have some project signs um, being placed out around um, downtown, which will um, have information which leads you back to the city bot, which is this QR code. As some of y'all might have already. Um, signed up for this based on the mailers for today's meeting. You'll be receiving text messages um, similar to the one that was received Friday or this morning. And it'll be giving a um, quick update on the, um, the project and kind of what to expect um, in the next couple of days. And we'll be trying to keep ahead of, keep those notifications ahead of construction so you can um, see where the work's going to be moving to or where it's going to be at. Uh, when the traffic control implementation, um, when we start construction, you'll see the contractor um, mobilize in. You'll start seeing barrels and cones um, in the areas. You'll also see um, the meters being bagged for no parking as the contractors are going to work on that street. So he would have full access to the area of work uh, to be able to um, get in there, get his work done, um, and get out of there. You'll be seeing a, some minor site clearing, um, mostly with the ADA um, and sidewalk areas of picking some stuff up and cleaning up that concrete. And then we'll be doing milling um, on the existing resurfacing streets. If there's any underground utility work or adjustments um, with like manholes, uh, most of those have been done already in previous projects, but there might be some minor adjustments that still need to be made. The contractor will uh, mill all the asphalt. Uh, once he mills the asphalt, um, he's going to try to get a couple days ahead of himself with the milling. So that way, when he brings the paving crew in, they're able to um, quickly resurface those areas and keep ahead of that um, milling group. 
and then he'll be doing ADA ramp and um, sidewalk work. Um, once that's uh, all those locations are determined, they'll be doing that concurrently with other work um, throughout the project. And once they're done with the street, um, resurfacing it, that they'll put some temporary pavement markings down um, in the interim, and then they'll come back in and do complete um, restriping of the roadway, put all the cross, um, crosswalks back and all the pavement markings back. And then they'll remove all their traffic control and then do any of the final cleanup that they need to in those areas. And they'll be working um, the red areas in three quadrants and then downtown, they'll be kind of um, on the ADA ramp replacements, they'll be moving um, block to block throughout downtown. So these are just a couple um, pictures of kind of what the streets look like now. Um, You'll see all the cracking on the road and the asphalt. Um, so we'll be milling all that off. Um, and then the picture on the right is a street that's been completely um, repaved and the pavement markings returned. So you'll see brand new markings out there and asphalt and all the areas of the red roadways. Uh, project schedule and notifications. Uh, we are estimated to start construction in May of 2022. The Northeast pavement area, uh, we're looking at starting first in May of 2022. That should take about three weeks or so to uh, finish the uh, resurfacing of the roadways in that area. As soon as that area is done, They'll be moving to the southeast paving area, which is Jones, 12th Street, um, in the southeast um, corner. And they're looking at working in that area late May into early June. Uh, once they're completed there, they're going to move over to the southwest area, which includes 7th Street from Forest Park all the way into Burnett Plaza uh, and that side of project and they'll be in there roughly early June uh, to early July uh, resurfacing the roadways. The project does have a duration of 240 calendar days and a lot of that time will be when we get into downtown doing the ADA ramps kind of moving through there and if we um, run into any um, challenges with the paving, you may see those time frames extend out further than what we've projected. Uh, we have an estimated completion of January of 2023 for the project. Working hours will be from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Night work will be um, possible as necessary if it meets project criteria. And the contractor will be allowed to work 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the weekends or holidays if requested in writing and approved. Project notifications, uh, seven days before construction, uh, there'll be project signs being placed in the field. There'll be city bot messaging boards uh, placed out there as well. So people can scan that and opt into uh, city bot. <coughs> as well as we'll be placing door hangers on residences and businesses seven days before the start of construction. And just as I talked a little bit about this earlier, but the uh, schedule could be affected by any unforeseen events such as utility conflicts or weather. Um, and then I guess we'll, we can open it up to any um, questions um, from the audience or participants. Brendan, there is nothing in chat. Um, one thing before we start with questions, sorry, uh, whoever I, I interrupted there for a second. 
Uh, if you're a call-in user and you're muted, uh, I may have muted you earlier for some background noise. You can hit star six when you're ready to ask a question if you want to and unmute. Other than that, um, regular users can unmute themselves. Thanks. Hi, Brendan. This is Cynthia Serrano with the Fort Worth Convention Center. And I know that we're in the southeast part of the project for resurfacing. Question I have is, is you, because it's just a map. So, and it goes the perimeter of the convention center. So with our events that we have coming in and based upon the schedule that could impact um, graduations with parking because our, our parking garage is also, both of them are in that um, footprint that you have. So how is that? Is it all at one time? Is it street by street? Because I'll need to be able to at least manage that with our clients and their expectations of getting to the loading docks, getting to the garages, getting their attendees inside their facility. So how is that going to be communicated to us? For um, the construction overall, it will be done um, really, or the milling will be done street by street and they'll be doing replacement uh, behind them. They will be maintaining access on the roadways Okay. Um, during those times, so we're not anticipating shutting down any roadways in its entirety, but working on one half of the roadway and then flipping to the other half of the roadway okay. as the work progresses. Um, if there are key events um, such as graduation, um, we'll get that with the contractor to make sure we um, do our best to avoid um, those areas at that time to get people in and out of those events um, as best as possible. Okay. Thank you. Brandon, this is Michael Amador with Tarrant County. Will the bricks on Weatherford Street in front of the 1895 courthouse be reworked as part of this project? Uh, the that would be in the, uh, right there where, you're, where you got your pointer. Down uh, right there. As part of that, we're um, any any pavers in the roadway, or we are not planning on reworking, just uh, milling off the existing asphalt and replacing existing asphalt in the roadways. Very good, thank you. And uh, I see a comment in chat. Um, ex would you expand on the process for sidewalk rehabilitation? Is it full with the sidewalk in front of buildings? Um, June, the plan on sidewalk rehabilitation right now is to do very select sidewalks. Um, if there's um, areas where when we tie in a curb ramp and we need to tie back into the existing surrounding area to meet ADA compliance, and we'll also look to select areas um, in those areas to see if there's anything that um, would create like a tripping hazard and look at um, select areas like that for replacement. And then it, um, if that didn't answer your question, you can um, respond back or unmute and um, ask a follow up. Any other questions? Brendan, uh, would you put your, there you go. Uh, I, I do wanna say uh, before we wrap up for the night, um, I did put into chat the link to the project page on our uh, Fort Worth website. Uh, we will, once construction starts, we will be updating that regularly uh, so it, we, we kind of have a running list of where we are and what we've done. Uh, also, please sign up for the text alerts, either by using the QR code on the screen or by texting hello to 833-233-9890. Uh, and that'll get you set up. Uh, and those will be sending out regular updates to, throughout the length of the project.
Anybody else uh, have a question? Or need clarification on anything? Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, taking out a time um, from their evening to attend um, this presentation. And if you all have any questions that pop up after the meeting, you can always email me um, or call me. Uh, my information is on the screen um, for the call in numbers. My number is 817-392-2817. And I will uh, answer questions um, as best I can and give you uh, prompt responses. Thank you all, everybody. I have a question, sir. I have a question, yeah. sir. Uh, Jerome Law, Britton Turner County College. Uh, you said we'll be able to access that link. It will be available on your website. The uh, Fort Worth, Texas .gov projects page. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. OK, uh, so will that be available tomorrow or? Uh, that link should be active um, currently for the project okay. site. Okay. Uh, the, um, the project site's there already. The link to this recording should be up sometime tomorrow. It just depends on how long it takes to, for WebEx to process it and then uh, for me to get it converted and posted. <laughs> okay, well, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, thank y'all, everybody. Thank you.